What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here, bringing you another Marvel Strike Force video. Today we're going to be doing Doom Campaign Nodes 1, 5, and 1, 6. I'm going to be showing you how to 3-star them with your Guardians today. Sorry I'm not showing my face today, I'm kind of going with a more simple edit on this video. I've been having a lot of drama with plumbing issues at my house, so I wanted to do something and just make it kind of simple for a minute. <laughs> so that way it wasn't as stressful. But yeah, these two nodes, they require guardians. They're definitely not that hard at all, plus it's kind of lucky because you get a Doctor Strange that is given to you, so he definitely helps out, save his revive, just in case any of your characters die, so he could bring him back to life. And I didn't do it in this video, but I also suggest you keep Groot and Drax on the right side when you load your guardian team, because Doctor Strange drops in on the other side, and with Groot and Drax taunting, it's going to cause Doctor Strange to take a lot of extra damage and wanted to mention that too just just so you guys know help out if your team's not as high enough you know I got lucky and got the three star on both of these but I should have switched that around <coughs> after this awful load time looking at this mojo verse guy <laughs> mojo will be ready to go I know definitely the loading times for me are probably one of the most frustrating things I think it's just from back in the day even when I was a kid in like playing games on PlayStation 2 or N64, like just loading times are annoying. <laughs> so here we go, dropping in. This is definitely, this is a heavy kind of mystic supernatural node. You know, you got a lot of the Scarlet Witches and the Sentries and stuff, characters like that rolling around. So I like to get rid of the Sentry just because he causes all that taunting and cloaking. The only thing that sucks is he's kind of beefy on this node. And if you have low, if your characters are very low in power, I would suggest probably focusing down the Elsas first. Because they do have a weak health pool. And they're going to cause a lot of damage. Look at that, Doctor Strange already in the yellow. <laughs> but that's why I brought in, like I said, Mantis and Groot. Because if, if you have Mantis and Groot, you have two healers on this team. A lot more sustain. So it definitely helps out for sure. So he got that cloak off anyway. We couldn't kill him in time. That's the one problem, too, with the Guardians is there's not a whole lot of damage on this team. Like, pretty much Rocket is your only damage dealer. If I had the ultimate on Star-Lord's, uh, or the T4 on Star-Lord's ultimate, it would probably hit harder. But it's not a necessary requirement for this team to work properly. All right, get some of that healing going. <clears throat> and maybe save Dr. Strange special for when Hand Sentry actually drops and does that cloaking thing because then, you know, Dr. Strange is going to flip the buffs with his special. So I probably should have saved that. That would have definitely helped out, saved my butt a little bit on that cloaking thing. Here we go with this AoE, try to nail some of all these people down. I love the AoE just because it's... So much health gone, man. It's amazing. That bonus damage you get when Groot is on the field with him. Let's try to get this Scarlet out of here. Look at that. She's just holding strong. You know what I mean? Like, I wish my Scarlet was like that. My Scarlet Witch is like paper, man. She gets cut down like nothing. Alright, let's chop down these Elsas. Try to get them out of there. <clears throat> I think you have to actually, once you kill the Elsas and you kill Ghost Rider, that's when the next crew drops in. When you take it down to five enemies, then the whole next crew drops in. And then, yeah, just make sure you save that healing from Doctor Strange just in case any of your characters die. And like I said, I suggest definitely having Drax and Groot on the, on the top side so you switch them around and put them on the right when you load your characters because Doctor Strange is going to pop up on the bottom and... You see all the damage he took like I'm lucky he survived because he could easily be dead right now because <laughs> let's try to get this ghost rider out of here mantis with her turn we can get some healing just because Drax is looking a little dangerously low <clears throat> get that offense down on him just keep hitting him now try to regain some cooldowns Wait for the next five to drop in. So we got some Asgardians in the Scarlet. I don't know why they went double Loki on that. It should have been like maybe Sif or like Hella would have been horrible. Can you imagine if they threw Hella on that? That would have been horrible. <laughs> 
All right, let's try to work this down. No buffs to really flip, so I'm just going to hit him like that. AoE. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Loki and Scarlet Witch didn't even stand a chance, man. Dead. Yeah, so like this, like I said, this node's not that hard. After this, I'm going to be showing you the Red Skull node, so we'll get into that. Oh, oh. Heimdall. He's the last. He's the last one standing. Can he do it? I do not think so. Boom. There we go. The three star people. All right. So now we're going to get on to the next node. The next one's going to be the red skull node. So, all right, we're dropping in now. This is going to be our red skull node again. Definitely should have switched that Drax and that group to the other side because we're going to get a Doctor Strange again, which is awesome. This is kind of like a mutant type node. We got some Black Panthers rolling in here too. We got a Juggernaut. He's definitely not as beefy as he could be. It's definitely an easy juggernaut to take out. He could be way beefier, and it would have sucked. So let's get on. Let's get on. But definitely, yeah, these nodes aren't too difficult. The next, the next nodes are actually kind of hard because they do those things where they kind of require different teams, but they also ask you to do, like, protect this character, or take out the commander characters, you know, they ask you to do something like a milestone thing, it's not just like, just kill everybody however you want, it's not like that easy, <laughs> so we'll get into those ones on my next video, and I'll show you those ones, but also stay tuned, I'm going to be dropping another rad movie review pretty soon, going to be checking out some new movies, so I'll drop a new review, and also... Definitely, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and stay up to date on all the content that I put out. Let's try to get rid of these Black Panthers. I was thinking about taking out the Mordo, like right here. I was like, oh, I'll get him out of here. But sometimes Mordo is just like such a hassle to deal with that I'm like, I don't even care. I'm just going to leave him on the field. <laughs> just to give myself like more of a headache. <laughs> All right, and we got Drax dropping in, Mr. Sinister, which is unfortunate. Always got to worry about that cloning from him, RNG factor on who he picks. I think in this particular video, he ended up grabbing my Mantis. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, all right. Oh, man, look at all that healing going on right there. And now here he goes, cloning. No, he got my Groot, oh, which is all right. Groot, Mantis, better than them, than another blinder like Star-Lord or something like that. But, yeah, hope you guys like these videos and everything. Like I said, I'll be putting out some more of the Marvel Strike Force videos, showing you the rest of Doom campaign. Also going to be dropping another rad movie review pretty soon. Definitely stay up to date on the content by hitting that notification bell and everything. I'll have a card in the top corner with some of my other Doom campaign videos, so you can go check those ones out for the pre the previous ones that I've done. Definitely going to drop in and see if I can... Oh, oh. You now we're going to flip all these buffs right here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Go after the Sinister right here. Try to get this guy down. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just chopping them down. Only five enemies left. But yeah, like as I said, these Guardian nodes are definitely a lot easier than some of the other Doom campaign nodes earlier. And definitely not that bad at all. Like, see, we got four enemies left. So nothing major at all. But thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day and everything. Peace out.